Hello everyone. Welcome to my first IG live. Completely unplanned. I thought I was transitioning into the parenting part of the evening. But everything shifted. And even my son was like, it seems like you have more channeling to do. Which also might have been code for, I want to watch TV. <laughs> but I'm heeding the call and I know specifically Spirit would like me to share some stream of information having to do specifically with the next four months. A little bit of that was coming out when I was on Clubhouse and it feels like a, a bulkier section wants to come out now. So for anyone who is available to listen now or maybe later, I welcome you in. There is no limit to energy. It is not bound by space, time, or dimension. So we're all here in the eternal now together. And thank you for being here. <gasps> Jenny, you're here. Okay, I won't be looking at the comments as much. Um, we'll see how this goes. So just inviting us all to drop into our bodies. First become aware of the crown of the head, inviting it to relax open into its natural state. Bringing the awareness down through the central column that runs in front of your spinal cord. Connecting all of the major energetic centers. Drop into the pelvis. Release that tension, the gripping. Let's get really into our bodies because the information that's about to be shared feels big. It might be a little ungrounding. So after you find yourself in your pelvis, drop down through your feet. Allow everything to relax as you're fully releasing and surrendering into the holding of the earth. You are one with it. There is no separation. It's just remembering that. So let's take a couple of breaths. And as I'm channeling, I will be mostly working through direct voice channeling. If I step out and speak as Kristen, I will note it. Or if we change speakers, you may see my body moving or twitching or doing things, which are other energies being transmitted in a nonverbal way. So joyed to be with each and every one of you in this eternal now moment. We offer gratitude to the channel for listening. We come with energies ready for integration and a few seeds to plant into your consciousness. All of you are increasingly aware of the quickening of change happening on the earth plane right now. So many of you over the last year and a half to two years of your calendar have gone through a profound process of clarification. For some of you, it has been quiet, even joyful, learning the new ways of ease. For others, you feel as though if you've been thrown into the fire and this in a certain way is true. Parts of you that no longer serve have been set alight that they may burn off. 
no longer obscuring your light, allowing you to shine fully into the earth plane as you were designed to do, because now is that moment. You are feeling it. You have been feeling it on some level your entire life, the beacon of this time calling you forward. And now it is here. And so are you. And we offer immense gratitude, a celebration that you have persisted on the earth plane up until this point. Well done. It is not an easy game to be in that reality as you have been. And wonderful news we have to deliver to you. It will not be like that again. You are done with that particular way of humaning on the earth plane and you are opening into a new chapter, not just as individual, not just as a collective of new dimensional healers, but the entirety of the planet. It is the same energy, the same process that is moving through each and every one of you across all levels of your ecosystem. It simply looks different manifesting in all of these different ways infinite diversity in infinite combinations as is said on your planet and you are ready even if you feel deep in the throes of your process that process will continue on alongside what is the path of light you can't help walking you can't mess this up there are no wrong choices. There is no being behind. There is no need to catch up. You have everything that you need. You are simply in the process of remembering to remember, to reattach to yourself the pieces that have felt missing, knowing that this entire process is simply a path that your ego is walking knowing that you, real you, the true you I am speaking to right now, you persist without change, without a need for learning or evolution or to cleanse and purge yourself. These are fun games too. But it's important now in this moment in the Earth's journey to remember those games are optional. They are not necessary for you to shine your light. They are not necessary for you to walk your path. They are not necessary for your clarity to overcome the murkiness. These next four months on the earth plane will be intense. Some of you are asking, how could they be more intense from what we have been experiencing? There's always more, there's always different, there's always new. What you have been experiencing with the rise of this global virus and all of the shadow that has been shaken loose as a result of it, all of this has been a preparation. As I say this, most of you are able to consciously connect with that truth, even if it previously had eluded your conscious mind. This has been a preparation. You have been fortified. You have been clarified. And now you are ready to step forward into the work, into the joy, into the personal play that is your medicine on this planet. At this moment, we ask you to bring your awareness into the body, back to the breath, once again, reground. Some of you are feeling our presence in a way that makes it difficult to stay in your body. Notice that, offer it love. Notice that your habit has been to leave the planet, to leave your physical experience after a certain threshold of uncomfortability. Yes, good. Now, the next four months on the earth plane are going to bring enormous revelation 
focuses will shift. Though the virus that you are working with at this point will not suddenly disappear, there will be other focuses to draw your attention. Some will be intertwined with your COVID-19 situation, many will not. The context of humanity is about to be exploded open. Ideas that a mere few years ago would have been ridiculous within your mainstream collective will be openly discussed, will be held with seriousness. People will start to wrestle with them. This will open up immense potential and it will also open up immense fear, gripping, grasping. As you all have been witnessing, the earth plane is going through a process of noticing its systems, past, present, and in consideration of that elusive future. As each of you know, there is nothing in reality but this now moment. Which is why it is now your jobs to anchor into yourselves, into your lives, into your communities. This is the work. In whatever way you personally are called, in whatever way brings you relief, release, and a joy, that is the guidance. Because if each of you follows that inclination, you will arrive exactly where you need to be. You will be moved into position through the divine dance. This is the most easeful way to arrive at your point in the plan. Now, as free will planet, you do have the option to not go along with this flow, to wrestle with it, to doubt it, to fight it. But considering that suffering is simply fighting against what is, we highly recommend that you not go down that path. Now is the time to anchor. Now is the time to get steady. Now is the time to privilege your self-care in all of its many forms, including the ones that are, not, that are not as leisurely as some of the others. This is the time to root in all of that. The collective is climbing. It will continue for a while. Part of your job, part of why you were born onto this planet is to remain steady during this time. There are millions of you on planet right now, primed and moved into position. Thank you for being a part of this sacred web. This is your official heads up that things are about to get very real. And though on the surface at times this may look like sadness, suffering, and fear, under the surface we encourage you to hold the truth that this is all a joyous release and celebration. You are witnessing birth. You are anchoring birth. You are facilitating birth. That is the role we all are carrying right now to midwife the new dimension into a more palpable form on the earth plane. You are each in your own way already doing this in your personal lives simply by pursuing greater awareness and alignment. Some of you are stepping into greater work in a public manner. By doing this, you are more solidly anchoring other dimensional frequencies into this realm, allowing them to become more stable allowing them to join with others, allowing the web of the new dimension to drop into physicality in a whole new way. Be the light, be the medicine, be the ones that you are seeking. The collective will start to turn to you more and more. This will look like people in your immediate spheres, those that you share schooling with, those that you are in work with, those that are a part of your immediate community will start to 
shift more noticeably and you as a way shower, you as one who has already walked a little further up the path, will be prepared to catch them, to support them, to whatever, whatever extent feels best and nourishing to you. Again, this is not a time to stretch yourself thin. This is a time to put on your own air mask and then help the ones around you. We would like to speak about the autumnal equinox. At that turning point in the year in the north, spring in the south, there is an energetic shift, a clicking into place that will occur. Those of you who have established practices of prayer, meditation, space holding, ritual, you are encouraged to be active at this time in the days leading up and holding the prayer for a day or two afterwards as well to whatever extent is possible within your human life. We are anchoring a great clicking into place of very different energies. And through that clicking, there are there is a wave of portals opening up The pathway from the equinox to winter solstice in the north, summer solstice in the south, will be a sacred road. Many turns, twists, hidden passages. The blind curves in particular may be challenging, but know that it is all one line leading to the same release point. We will speak more about the winter solstice in the future. But having this energetic lay of the land, knowing that this is a particular pocket of time, will not only make it easier to move through it in the difficult moments, it is also giving you the opportunity to maximize the potential for joy and creation during this incredibly creative portal time as we transition from the current chapter that has been filled with isolation, fear, and suddenly waking up from a human dream. We are now holding a transitional space from that chapter into the next. These are the in-between days. Be in joy be a nourishment. Know that the information that will start to reveal itself over the next four months will come packaged with human awareness. It is your job to drop beneath the story to mine out the actual nuggets of cosmic truth. Share them, hold them, discard all the rest. There will be much to discard. On this blessed day that you call Portal Day, Lion's Gate Day, this moment of sacred geometry physicalizing itself on the earth plane, know that we are opening into celebration. We are opening into a different form of ceremony on this planet and you you are the ones shining the light. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your tenacity. We are in awe of you. We celebrate you. We are one. forward to rewatching that. <clears throat> it's interesting to notice the 
energy was particularly pointed. It was almost difficult for me to keep holding it as, as focused as it was. It was expensive and stretching and touching a lot of people all at once, which is great learning for me as a channel, expanding into a more online presence since I'm so used to working with people one-on-one. -on -one. A closing song. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. Are there any questions for spirit before I close out? I'll sit here for a moment and hold the energy. I'm gonna go. Special love to you, Jenny. Ciao, kitty.